You have to all excuse the mess, okay? This is a bit of a, a room, a random room full of machines. Um, anyway, so this is a, this is one of the Sky Super Soccer. A lot of people ask me about this. We've got one that's always been out on site. This is my own personal one. Uh, I'm a sec one of my Secret 7s there. Actually, you'll see another Secret 7s in a minute. Um, prize Cluedo. Um, that's going to have a little run out soon. Uh, and I've just got some random things. That, actually, I was using as a test rig for um, MPU4 video. Not a great test rig because it's only got three buttons on the side buttons on. Um, but anyway, so just some other random stuff, something under there. A couple of um, old MPU4s. Um, I can't get over to there annoyingly, but you'll get the idea. Um, some bits and pieces over there. Um, a lot of these are my test rigs, believe it or not. Um, so I've got an Astra rig there. So this is a test rig, as you can see, there's all sorts of hard drives here, they're floating about. Um, so in here, excuse the mess, like I say, it's just been used as stores and other secret sevens. Um, there, a Yabba, um, a very old Bally duck shoot. Um, over here, I've got a 10 out of 10. Um, nice little uh, Mege there, um, excuse the focus. There's another vision cabinet there. This is actually a really good game on 2P. Um, really quite impressed with that. So I've kept that. Um, cash explosion, of course, I'm keeping that. Um, so you saw a video recently on Facebook, perhaps, about this. Um, I don't know where the glass is on. They just, they just, I came in one day and they're gone. Um, so things like this, cash machine, great machine. But we can't run things like this. Um, so, you know, we, we're not going to run anything like that. Um, I mean, if you look at it face on like that, it's okay. And some places will even run this. I mean, the bottom glass is immaculate. But um, the guy that I bought off was a lovely guy. Told me all about the imperfections. Um, in fact, I do a shout out to him. as Steve Campbell, DJ Steve Star. Um, I bought off of him um, some time ago. And um, I've always kept it. I've never operated it or run it because of the artwork's too bad. Uh, another Kong. Oh, I seem to have loads of these. This as well. Um, just got a few of those. Uh, someone asked recently about a crazy cop. Uh, crazy. <laughs> that was that was close. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy Crocs, um, here is a Crazy Crocs. Uh, sadly, I've completely stitched up when I bought this and two others. Um, this is horrendous. Um, awful, um, a complete state, but um, I will bring it back. And it's a great little game, very loosely based on Popeye. Um, it's just one of them, my little um, game. So trivial in the Apollo. I wasn't gonna use that, but I think that's now coming out. Um, are going to be used, um, monkey parts. Hey, something's going on here. Where's the glass for this? It just vanished. Um, so, um, into this. Oh yeah, I mean, how can I not? I've got to mention this, haven't I? I mean, what a classic machine. Um, this actually came from a garden. It was actually in someone's garden, believe it or not. Um, so, I'm, I'm restoring that, but... It's a hard one for me to go because it's such a great game. Um, and unfortunately, these games have just come in and just stayed here. Uh, so that's my um, Electricoin rig. Well, it's, it says 70 pound jack, but it's got the 100 pound. It's probably even an early 100 pound Vegas strip. Yeah, something like that in there. So um, uh, Electricoin kind of gave me that actually, to be fair to him. Um, so sit down, Elvis. Um, there's a little shout out for little Kev at the arcade. Kev, Kev, Elvis. A couple of these that come in clearances. Uh, that is high low silver. Um, the elusive but not forgotten fireball down there. Um, double cash again, top tenner. Uh, you probably saw another one in the room. Lovely machine, cannot wait to run it. But the artwork's too poor, we cannot run things like this. Um, you might think all oh, it looks looks lovely, but we cannot run machines with bad artwork. It's not our ethos to do that. Uh, there's another hundred pound Monte Carlo down there. I think it's Simpsons. Cut of juice cabinets as you do. This is an original uh, Monty Python, the one with the pots, the castles. So there is even 
I can't get around there, but there's there's three or four machines in the, um, I'm embarrassed to say the bathroom. Um, so yeah, it's a bit crazy. It's a bit of an insight to the madness, the absolute madness of um, what we get up to. Uh, I ain't the slimmest, so that's part of my test rig there, I think. That's that part of my lamp light box there. Let's have a little look. Yeah, it's part of my test rig. So I can't really get down there, but down there is um, the solid silver, um, the South Park, if you can make it out behind the other top tenner, cash your bus on 70, another prize extenders. There's a top door for a rainbow riches to go on to the cash your bus. Um, but I've got to vacate the, all this area really. So we've got two Maximilians on 15, crazy cash there. There's a big banker there at the back to it. Um, that's the Jape. Some like it hot. Um, that's quite a rare game. In fact, very rare game. I've never seen it. So there's no point saying it's quite rare. It is rare. I've got loads of these seventh heavens. Um, actually, that's going going to go out to a friend of mine. I'm going to lend it to a friend of mine, um, Phil Pickerwin. Um, I'm going to lend that to him uh, just on a permanent loan. And then uh, when he's bored of it, he can send it back. So, but there you go. A little insight into what we do. But this one here, I'll close with this. This is what my dad and I used to play a long time ago, and um, is the actual machine. And uh, to have this in my house um, would be amazing. Um, so I need to get this out and enjoy it. But uh, yeah, what a wonderful machine. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope everyone's cool. And, and uh, I know some of you might not like these sort of videos. Some of you might love them. Um, but I like doing these sort of videos. It gives you a little bit of insight, um, a little fly on the wall um, of, of what we're up to, basically.